This video shows how to use a Luxator to extract a broken root. The video is produced and copyrighted by the Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco. Please note that the color on the band of the instruments may vary. Here you see the fractured root well below the level of the gingiva. And here you see the Luxator, which you can identify by the blue ring and by its more sharp edge up here. This very sharp edge can squeeze in between the tooth and the bone and the instrument is applied vertically. We have four different kinds of these luxators. This one is a straight three millimeter luxator. There is also a curved three millimeter luxator and a straight and curved five millimeter luxator. The luxator is placed vertically in apical direction and squeezed in between the bone and the root. You can squeeze very hard in apical direction except in the posterior upper jaw where the sinus may be close. You have to be more careful. So the instrument is squeezed in between the bone and the root. can be done as here on the buckle. It can also be done mesial, distal or even lingual. Be careful that the instrument does not slip in the floor of the mouth. So you squeeze it in between the bone and the root and the instrument can come down. At some point you can then use it as a lever and rotate the instrument, thereby extracting the root. The same thing can be done on the mesial. The instrument again is placed in vertical direction, squeezed in between the bone and the root. And at some point, when the instrument is sufficiently into the bone, it is rotated and the root is extracted.